this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I made this monthly spread using Procreate and using the 2020 Digibujo by Jenny Golland Designs. This is the Sunday start, but you get both the Sunday and the Monday when you make this purchase. Just so I don't confuse anyone, this does actually start on January of 2020. I'm going to go back to my index. I have chosen to use my custom pages as the months of 2019, so I can use this now if I choose to. So my custom number two is, custom two, is going to be my month of September, and I'll just add in pages as I need them. So let's get started. I'm going to click the three dots. This is Good Notes 5. I'm going to clear the page. I'm going to click the up arrow, export this page, image, export, and save to the camera roll. That way I can work within that journal once I go into Procreate. I'm going to open Procreate, click the plus sign, screen size, that simply gives me a nice big canvas, wrench, insert a photo, and I'm going to pick up the very last one that I just saved. There's my journal, and I'm going to work inside of this frame. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a new layer. I'm going to pick a dark color. We'll pick black. And I'm going to go into my paint brushes, and I'm going to pick this brush pack that is called Monthly Planner Brushes. It comes with the left side, the right side, and the word month of, a little phrase. So we'll start with the one side. Make sure my opacity of that brush is all the way up. And tap the screen, arrow tool, and just position that where you want it. Okay. I'm going to go into another layer back to my brush, and I'm going to do the other side just the same way. I'm going to do the arrow and position one on top of the other. I'm in free form, just so that I can make these the same size. So when I bring this over here, I know that it's the same size. Okay, now if I like the placement of that, I'm going to merge those two layers together. They're on one layer. I'm going to click my arrow and I'm going to flip simply because I like this notes column to be on the right. I'm right handed and I write over here. Everything that I'm using I'll list in the description of the video below so you'll know where to find what I'm using. Alright, let's go to one more layer. I'm going to use the other stamp that comes in this set month of. I'm going to make that just a little bigger. I'm guessing at the size that I'm going to need. And then just position it with my arrow tool. If you tap, it moves just a tiny bit. Okay, so there's my monthly spread. I'm going to go ahead and merge those layers all together as well, just so they're all in one. Okay, so I'm going to add a layer, and I'm going to bring up from below my photo roll. I like to keep all of my stickers in, in albums, so I have an album called Planner Stuff. And the Jenny just came out with a lemon paper pack, so you get a bunch of papers and a bunch of stickers and these all come together in a pack. We are going to use this pattern paper here. So I'm going to drag it over. And I can close that out. That's the only sticker I'm using today. And the my arrow tool is already selected. I'm simply going to drag this inside the confines of my planner. Okay. It's the reason I put that planner in first so I know that everything's going to fit when I move this back into GoodNotes. Okay. I'm going to put that below my grid 
Now I can barely see that, so I'm going to lower the opacity here just until I get my next step up done, and then I'll bring that opacity back up. So this layer is my grid. I'm going to add a new layer. The grid layer, I'm going to tap and make a reference. That is a reference layer. Now this new layer on top, I'm going to click a white, and I'm going to fill my squares in white. Now you can do this one by one, or you can click your S for selector. Make sure you're in automatic mode. And you can just select all the boxes that you want to change. We're going to change the color on all of these at the same time. Leave that selected. Go back to your layer and fill. It will fill with whatever color you've got selected. Okay. I'm going to add another layer. We're still using that one as a reference. I'm going to pick another color and we're going to do the same thing again. Select and we're going to make all of these yellow. Actually, we're going to make all these yellow as well. Oops, two finger tap, erases. Just make sure you stay in the lines, oops, and you will just select what you're after. Okay, everything I want is selected. Tap and fill, and it filled in with yellow because that's what I had. Now the reason I do separate layers, um, if I s decide that yellow is too bright, I can pick another color, go back to layers, select, it reselected that whole layer, and fill, and you can very easily change your layers that way. Okay. I'm going to go back to where I was, so I'm simply going to double tap until my yellow comes back. Alright, so now we're back here. Now that I can see everything, I'm going to go back to my pretty layer and bring that opacity all the way up. I like that background, I want to see it. Now we're going to go into this white layer click its opacity and bring it down some. You can bring it as high or as low as you want. Um, I want to be able to see that in the background just a little bit. Okay, so now we have this. Now I've noticed that my seam in the center has disappeared, so we're going to go back into this layer click my eraser tool and that is just an airbrush. Let's go with a soft airbrush and bring the opacity down the size of my brush and I'm just going to lightly erase some of that pretty background just so I can see the original journal behind it. I don't want it all gone. I just want to be able to see behind it. Okay, and while I'm here, let me make that a little smaller. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit more visible as well. It is erasing that pretty background, but because the opacity is not all the way up, it's not taking it all away. Just making it a little fuzzy so I can write on top and see what I'm doing. Okay, so now let's see, go back to the top. I'm going to click my wrench tool, add text, edit style, and we're going to pick pretty Genevieve or whichever text that you like. I like this one because it's kind of cursive and pretty. 
and we'll make that, I'm guessing at the size that will fit inside of the boxes here. I'm going to click my keyboard. and type OK. And there's Sunday. Now I had pink selected, that's why it went into pink. Um, so we can just drop that if I like that. I'm going to leave it alone. Now I can go back and add in add text over and over and over, but since I like the sizing of that, I'm going to leave it and just slide and duplicate. That way my sizing stays the same. Double tap. And I don't have to worry about resizing anything. Everything is going to match up. Slide and duplicate. Arrow tool. Deselect. Double tap. Tuesday. Okay. And we're just going to do this all the way across. Slide and duplicate. Arrow tool. Double tap. Wednesday is always a test because it is such a wide word. Okay. That's not bad. Slide and duplicate. Drop it. Thursday. Slide and duplicate. Friday. Saturday. And one more for notes. Or shopping or whatever it is that you want to put there. You can go ahead and fill in these at the bottom. I'm going to leave them blank for now. Alright, I'm going to leave that alone. You can fill in your days here and your month as well. I'm going to leave it blank so that I have the option to reuse this same layout over and over. So now I'm done with this layout. I'm going to click my layers. I'm going to turn off the layer that is my background journal. I'm also going to turn off the background white. Wrench tool, share, PNG, save image, that will save it into my camera roll when I go into Good Notes. Pen tool. If I click this little picture icon, you can bring up your images from wherever it is that you saved them. Um, it will also show up here. The last one here is the last image I just saved. Or you can pull it from here. The last image as well. I'm going to tap and crop get rid of some of this gray stuff. It just makes it easier to size. And I'll just drop it into place. I'm lining up the sides here. If I get the sides to line up, then the rest will line up as well. Tap a pen tool and that will drop it into place. Now I can use my text tools within GoodNotes. Let's go ahead and pick the same pretty Genevieve. Or you can change it up. You can pick whatever you want just so it matches. I hand wrote it earlier, but we can do it this way. Save so it remembers pretty Genevieve. And we'll pick a pretty green. and you can make that whatever color you want. 
and just fill in your days. And I'm not going to take the time to type in all of my numbers. I will simply use my pen tool and hand write them in. Just like that, fill them all in. And that's my monthly spread. Thanks for watching.